Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this week's video, I thought because you guys seem to love my crochet video, I thought I would do a little crochet for a week with me, basically a little vlog. And yeah, basically just watch me start projects and then get bored. I originally wanted to do different projects every day, like different types of crochet, but did I end up doing that? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I thought I would just bring you along to crochet with me for the week. Um, I did a few different things, so like there's some decor, some clothing, and yeah. I did so much crochet this week, or I felt like it, my hands were aching. So, fingers crossed you guys like this video. Um, and also thank you so much for all the um, lovely comments and just support from my first crochet video because um, it's nice to see all us plus size girlies or plus size people just finding each other so um i'm sure i will be posting more plus size content in the future because girl that's what i am like let's not get twisted and yeah that's pretty much all i've got to say i don't want to ramble on too much before the vlog starts so i hope you enjoy this video and yeah leave me a comment i love reading them you guys are really really cute and i love it so and always every time i see a comment i'm like so cute but yeah i hope you enjoy this video and let's get on to the vlog straight away <laughs> Okay, because I only have half of the day today, I'm gonna work on some of my whips. So, AKA, I know I said in the last video that I was gonna put it on hold, but I'm gonna be working on this because I know if I don't carry on now, it's gonna get stuck and it's just gonna get left um, and just collect us. So I might as well just try and work my way through this. And also I'm going to continue on my crochet shirt. So that is the plan for today. I'm gonna see how far in I can get of this one. Obviously I need to do a few more rows up and then I need to do the ribbon, but I don't know how far in I'm gonna get to that. I think I'm gonna work on this one for as long as I can. And then I'm gonna start working on the um, crochet shirt. I will check in in a bit when I've, probably when I've got the rest of this done um, before I start the ribbon. I'll probably um, update you then, so it's currently actually let's track how long this is going to take me as well so it is currently 10 past four so i will check back in when i am at the ribbon part of that project so wish me luck <laughs> sat there and then that entire thing just fell down on me well and also i literally just heard that i just looked up and it just all fell down good job that didn't fall down on me whilst i was like asleep that scared the shit out of me fully done this wrong because i think i've done it wrong from like about here up so i have only literally done probably from like here up and it's actually been like almost an hour because i keep having to go back and read the pattern so i think i'm gonna literally have to undo it until and basically do this bit again just because it's taken me so long to try and figure out how to fix it and i know this is not right because i'm looking at it and i'm like that's not yeah oh oh that's not yeah, I think I'm going to have to undo the back bit just until like this bit, which isn't horrific, but. <sighs> there is no way that fucking hammock just fell down again. Why is everything going wrong with me today? Anyway, I'm not putting up again. I don't care. Okay, because this is absolute pure stress. I'm just gonna get to the point um, before I need to start ribbon and then I will come back. Um, time check in, it is now 10 past five, or 11 past five, sorry. So all that, and I've actually decreased the amount. Whatever. But I will be back when I'm done. 
Okay, hello. It is currently 10 to 8 and I've only just finished redoing what I did wrong. But I've come to another issue. I think I've done it wrong again somewhere. Um, just because it says to sew the tabs, like the shoulder tabs together. Babe, they're two different lengths. I don't know if this pattern is just a bit confusing or if it's just my brain not working properly. But like, are they supposed to be the same size because mine are just not and i'm just a bit confused where i've gone wrong because i'm pretty sure i did the front fully correctly because i was proper looking at the like i was fully reading all the pattern and stuff and i know i've just done this right so where have i gone wrong the way i've been doing this for literally like three and a half hours and i'm basically at the same point that i was before Okay, I've literally looked all throughout the pattern and I can't seem to find anything that I've done wrong. And also I've seen that there was like, um, you are supposed to have one like cluster of stitches less on one side, I think. Um, so I'm just really bloody confused and I'm supposed to sew these top, like the tabs together at the top. I hate sewing, but I'm going to do it. Um, however, who knows if this is even going to fit because... I decided to do the 2x just because, but I don't know if I've like measured wrong. So. Oh, so I'm going to sew the shoulder tabs together and then start on the ribbon. Honestly, just hope for the best. So I'm going to do that now. And I absolutely hate, hate sewing. So wish me luck. Pretty sure I figured out my issue. So I'm going to quickly do that and then sew everything together and then once I've done all of that I will be back. I have successfully sewed it together and tied all the ends in. I'll show you. So as I was I don't know if I said this before but basically I misread something at the top it was basically um so obviously you only go to a certain amount of stitches well I read in like for the front bits I think it said um add x amount more like stitches and then for the back panels it said um add a total of x amount of stitches so i got a bit confused but everything is now nicely sewed together all the ends are sewed in and i think i'm just going to quickly try this on before i start um doing the ribbon just because i kind of want us to see and also if it doesn't fit if you think i'm taking this apart i'm not I'm not. <laughs> um, so the question, does it fit? Yes. By how much? Not a lot. It's way too short. I'm not going to show you because I'm just going to show everything then. But it is way too short on me. It comes up just like probably maybe like two inches under my boob. I'm not going to lie. So unfortunately, I think I am going to put this down just because I'm really sad. This take, took me ages, but I'm not going to carry on doing this as annoying as that is just because i'm not gonna wear it at any point soon um and i probably just won't wear it in general because it's so short mm, i think i must have i would probably just need to do a bigger size honestly um well maybe a bigger hook size i don't know um which is just such a shame because these colors are so cute but actually having it on right now i kind of hate it <laughs> i don't like the top bit anyway that is really sad, but um, as annoying as it is, I'm going to put this one down. Um, would I recommend this pattern? Probably, yeah, but not for any beginners, I'm not going to lie. It was kind of hard to not understand, because maybe I just have a pea brain, but, like, I don't know. And also, like, plus size friendly, obviously, um, the pattern goes up to, like, a 5X. This, the 2X fits me. I probably should have done the 3X, but usually that's, I'm not a 3X top. So I'm just a bit confused. I might just, I should have probably just used a bigger hook size, honestly. I'm going to try and get out of this, but I'm going to work, start working on my other project. So hope, fingers crossed, that one's a success. So this is the next um, project for this evening. So the goal is today is to catch this one up with this one. Um, I don't know if I've said, I think I said in my last vlog that I basically miscalculated and I ended up it just was too big because I wanted basically really short sleeves um, and I just miscalculated and it was just a bit too big. So 
I un I like frogged this and then I just need to catch up on this. This is the goal for tonight. I want to catch up this one with this one. So then I'm at the, going at the same rate. So what I did, this is just a hexagon pattern thing that is like quite viral. Um, because I wanted short sleeves, obviously I stopped for like one side. I stopped one, two, three, four rows in and then I just carried on like this so I didn't go over this side at all just because then if I fold this over you can see that like my sleeve will only be like this long I might put like an outer red on that or something I don't know but um yeah so the goal is to get this one to look like this one a new apartment in your twin size bed coffee start and don't remember much all I know is that you talk to ish it's well actually i don't know it's nine minutes past 11 and i've got about to ca like in order to catch up i've got about two more rows to do with this ish but basically the reason it's taken me so long is because i've done like two full rounds i realized i messed up on literally the first stitch so i had to undo it all and start again but it's fine i've sort of caught up now um also i'm listening if you can ever see me in the like time lapse in like in the time lapses like laughing or going it's because i'm probably listening to an audiobook and i'm still in the middle of listening to a court of wings and ruin and i'm i think i don't know how far in i am now i'm pretty i'm pretty far in to be honest i'm on chapter 46 of 84 apparently my hands are aching yes yeah, so the original shirt um side that i'm trying to like match up to is this size oh that looks so much small <laughs> this looks so pathetic and now i've just looked at it wow oh no that's not actually that bad and we're at this stage so okay maybe it does look a bit pathetic but it's fine yeah, like I say, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna attempt to finish this tonight, like, as in matching them up, because I have, the reason this does look a bit bigger as well, is because I added a few more rows down the back, that's why this one looks big, if not, it literally would be, like, this big, so it's not too bad, my hands literally are aching, I really need to get one of those, um, things you can put on your hooks, because, I mean, I have lots of these hooks, but sometimes, this sometimes isn't long enough because I do this a lot <laughs> so it gets like stuck on the silicone so I sometimes do just go back to using these ones and but like because these are so thin my hands are like this and I'm like <sighs> but um yeah this is going pretty well apart from me having to frog half of it whatever I keep replying and getting notifications as I'm doing this and you guys are commenting and I just keep replying to them and I'm just like so cute so i'm gonna carry on doing this and i will update you on when i'm at the same stage or near the same stage as this one so see you in a sec okay, i'm finally i've pretty much caught up now i've uh, let me show you actually so this is where i'm at so i've got the same amount of like white as um was on the other one and i just need to now do the back edges and stuff guys i think i've outdone myself basically i've um they're exactly the same now i fixed all of my mistakes and i've just like hooked them all together with some stitch markers just and then i put it on just to see the fit and stuff i like the length um of the sleeves and the length of it and things like that i just need to add some more rows in the front and i think i'm gonna do some sh like a stripe of green down the back just to give it a bit more of a relaxed look but i can't tell if do i want green or not i'm not sure hmm. however i think look at my bags <laughs> i think i'm gonna go to bed now because it is half past one and my eyes are burning from concentrating so fiercely i'm gonna leave 
the shirt as it is for now and i might pick up on it like maybe in a few days or something because i've got things to do tomorrow but i'm gonna go to bed now so i'll see you in the morning good night good morning everyone so it's now tuesday i thought i would just sit down and have a little chat whilst i semi sort myself out but yesterday or last night this aka this morning i managed to get my shirt i think i already explained this but whatever managed to get my shirt to like so both sides are at the exact same place basically you just need to um add a few more rows down the back of each and then sew everything together well i say so i'm gonna do the join and stitch thing as you like camera granny stitches but on today's agenda i really want to finish that shirt and i don't know if i will today but um that is not the focus for today's section of the video today's um designated crochet projects are decor for my room i thought i'd treat myself and put a bit of makeup on just because i'm not obviously i'm not going out because when do i ever and also i'm doing this because every time i'm editing i'm just looking at myself and i'm like wow that is shocking no i'm joking well sometimes you have to look nice for yourself because otherwise who are you gonna look nice for i want to finish my shelf mats the other thing i'm gonna focus on is i really want to make some of them crochet flowers like the um one with the stems i bought some skewer like sticks yesterday um so hopefully they'll be fine don't know what flowers i'm gonna do yet i did try and look up some some um inspiration pics on pinterest but i don't know i'm kind of thinking because i've already done what i'm assuming is the same pattern ish is like some lavender i'll probably do some of that and i kind of want to do some tulips but yeah i think that's that is the main goal for today okay i'm gonna um do my makeup and then i'll come back to you in a bit okay now i look at slightly more alive i think i'm gonna look for some tutorials slash i'm gonna have a look on pinterest again to find some inspo for the flowers because i think i am just gonna do the flowers today and then if i finish the flowers and stuff then i will carry on doing my top but i'm trying to actually keep on a actual like some sort of timetable just because i tend to like start one thing stop and then start something else so i don't know why i said that as if i, I i'm in, not in the middle of a shirt but i'm trying to stick to my schedule but if i finish the flowers and all the decor bits i will um finish my top if not um i guess i'll finish the top another day also still pissed off that this doesn't actually fit even though i kind of think the colors are ugly i think it's because i did these like the blue up here it just doesn't doesn't really suit me but um yeah still disappointed that this didn't fit i think at some point i am gonna redo this but i might do like a solid color or something um who knows but yeah i'm gonna go look for some inspo and then I guess I'll be back when I've got the inspo and when I somewhat know what I'm doing. Currently 11.27. Actually, I just flat out lied to you. I'm not going to start with the flowers because I'm going to finish, well, I'm going to finish off my shelf mats first because I'm going to need the same colours. So change of plans. This is the original shelf mat that I have for my like stand I have next to my TV. This is just not long enough. I've redone this ages ago and started a new one. We're the same colours, so it's going to be the same colours, but obviously this is just slightly longer. So I'm going to finish this first, and I'm just going to reuse the yarn that I used on this one, I think. Let's crack on with this. Me crazy, make me fantasize about you, baby, and you smell so sweet. As you can see, clearly I measured up pretty wrong um when i first did this but that's fine all this is is just a granny like a granny rectangle um if i can find the video that i use for the pattern i'll put it here like fresh big daisies call me dumber cause your heart's so tasty ba -ba Covered the low wooden one row done the yes been i've only got three more rows to do so just these ones um and then when i'm done with that i will come back and then move on to the flowers after i've done this one um but i'm gonna finish this one and also i need to do the horrid job of tying all the ends in i've finally finished doing all my rounds and sewing the ends in now i know this is gonna be too long <laughs> but 
Am I gonna do it again? No, I'm not. Let me put it on. Okay. It is actually nowhere near as big as what I thought it was going to be. So thank God. Also, don't mind the mess that is my things. We're going to ignore that. But anyway, I think I'm just going to leave it like this. I think it's a pretty good size, actually. I don't think I could have done it any better. So I'm pretty happy with that. Honestly, I've been doing granny stitches for like two days now. So I need to have a bit of a change up. So I'm going to move rooms so I can sit down and at a table and not be hunched over like a hunchback. Okay, right. As you can see, we've moved locations. Also, don't mind the dirty mirror. We're not gonna talk about it. Anyway, so I've chosen my, I wanna say color palette. So obviously I wanna do lavender. So I'll see some purples and I'm thinking just do some blues, some pinks and some yellows. I need to go and get my pot of scraps. BRB. I have my pot of scraps because I feel like a lot of the, um, flowers i'm about to make if i make any tulips i feel like they you're supposed to stuff them aren't you i don't know but this is just a part of just literal scraps that i've been collecting for like a year okay so i watched one tutorial and that's what i'm gonna go with because why not um i will put the tutorial that i used here i don't know how well the tulips are gonna go just because the pattern that to make the tulips that sort of thing i hate doing it just looks so cute i hate it though i cannot do single crochet in the round i always do it wrong so this is gonna be a um a challenge for me too so i'm gonna get cracking with doing the lavender i think i'm just gonna completely guess this so the pattern that i was using i'm not sure if i even said this what i was doing the other day i made a load of lavender i was using i'll put her thing here as well i was using her like little wisteria um tutorial so that's probably just how i'm gonna do this honestly i'm so not joking when i say my eyes are burning from concentrating so much um i think i'm gonna take a break from crocheting because my hands hurt and also my neck is hurting it is currently Four minutes past two. Then I'm going to chill for a bit and then I'll come back when I start doing the tulips. And also, I think I'm going to go read Love Theoretically because I have like not long left of it. So I'm going to go finish that off and then I'll be back. Is it a long time after I last filmed? Yes. It's currently 10 to 8. I haven't done anything yet, but I did finish my book. But I'm going to go and try and make a couple tulips now i don't know how well this is gonna go because i'm really awful at doing like single crochet in the rounds so we'll see how this goes i know i'm gonna get confused but i'm gonna start on this like pretty much straight away so i will come back when i finish like one of them and see how long that takes me I mistake i make things harder so i tried my best to shut my mouth but all the thoughts i cannot explain how much i hate doing patterns like this because thing is i just don't know if i'm doing this right and i just i hate doing single crochet i think i'm like i think i've got about six more rows to go up and i'm just sick of it it's literally 8 42 so this is taking me literally like 40 minutes to do right i have just done a few more rows but i'm not gonna lie I'm not doing anymore. I think you're supposed to do like 16 rows and I think I've done about 13 and I definitely did a stitch wrong because you can see where I've slip stitched and then it's like jutted over one. Um, but that's okay. I'm just going to leave it as this because I don't want to do any more single crochets and I feel like this would be fun. Okay, because I don't have any like polyfill stuff in, I'm just going to use some of my old like loose ends that i kept over the year and literally just stuff it in there because why not this is what i was i saved it to you so i'm just gonna do that and then i think you just sew it closed <laughs> right does this look a little bit cursed yes am i gonna do anything about it no i think it'll be fine once i have the stem in but this is what we're working with can i be bothered to do another one I'm not so sure but i think i might 
just for the sake of it i'm gonna do it in this color just so it's done otherwise it's just gonna bug me i'm gonna do one more of these and then i'm gonna go on to the other type of flower and then that's gonna be the bouquet done for now i don't know if i'll add to it later on but yeah i have successfully done another tulip this one is significantly smaller in my head that actually that's not even that bad but cute okay so last thing for the flowers i don't know how packed this is going to look i feel like i'm definitely going to need to add to it another point but just for the sake of this i'm just going to do one different like style flower and i'm going to use some yellow and then once i've done that i'm gonna get my um skewers and hot glue gun everything together so it looks cute I need to watch the tutorial how to do the other flower and then once that flower is done i'll come back to you one flower done I'm not gonna lie this is actually so cute you that looks like a scrambled egg it hold on obviously i know i'm gonna super glue like the ends and i did tie them in or sew them in a little bit but now i've got a puffy flower i guess two tulips and two lavender things I'm now gonna try and attach these to the wooden sticks. Said you can trust me. I said it's fine because I'm not. Okay, the way this literally just took me like half an hour to do. <laughs> but they're all successfully on. These are a bit a bit wobbly, I'm not gonna lie. Especially this one. Oh, she is gonna fall off. But I ended up putting this like spear in it through the back. So she's pretty solid and these ones are wrapped around so they're all good. But obviously they're kind of wrong in size so I sort of underestimated that. So they're probably going to look a bit strange um, but that is for tomorrow's issue. Now I'm going to go to bed now and yeah I'll see you in the morning I guess. It's currently quarter past one and I've been doing a lot of gardening today so I haven't picked up my crochet. And originally I was going to do some tapestry crochet today because I actually want to put a dent in what i'm doing but i think i'm gonna leave that till tomorrow and just carry on with um my crochet shirt later but yeah i was gonna do tapestry crochet today but i feel like it just doesn't make sense just because i've been busy if any reader girlies want to know i actually finished um a quarter wings and ruin last night cried my eyes out so didn't expect to do that i've been trying to think of like crochet videos to do because i feel like a lot of you are probably here for the crochet videos i'm thinking i might do a like everything i want to crochet in like autumn video just because i've been trying to look for patterns and stuff to do that are like plus size friendly um and i think that would also help a lot of you guys as well just to see a collective and also we're not doing any of the ugly patterns like we're not doing that i'll find i'll find some cute ones for you so if you're interested in that i'll probably have a video in the next couple weeks maybe i don't know when i'll do that if if any of you guys want any different types of videos let me know obviously can't promise anything but let me know like i say i'm not a tutorial channel because i'm not very great uh, i'm one cannot do patterns for myself i'm shit and two i'm just a bit shit at doing tutorials so but if there's anything else if there's any um other types of crochet stuff you want me to do a video on let me know and i'll do my best yeah like i say i'm busy doing gardening today so i will come back a bit later on to carry on doing my crochet shirt i'm determined to finish that one today just because i feel like i've been doing it for ages and i just want to get it done by now i hopefully will look at slightly more okay because i've just been in the garden sweating pulling weeds out i'm gonna go and carry on weeding now and getting stung by stinging nettles i will speak to you later on i'm not gonna lie i really was gonna try and do my tapestry crochet tonight there is not an ounce of me that wants to sit and do that but i do want to finish that um top off i think i'm only gonna do i was contemplating on having like a stripe down the back i'm not doing that I, that that's not my vibe so i think i'm just gonna add a couple more rows on the back and then i also need to add a few more rows on the front and then I'm pretty much done. I want. I think I'm going to make a collar for it just because that might be quite cute. For all of my reader girlies, um, I need some advice. I don't know whether to start Fourth Wing or the Chestnut Spring series. So I finished um, A Quarter Wings and Ruin last night. So I'm sort of in limbo of what book to go to. If this is out on time, let me know if you think I should read um the chestnut spring series by lc silver 
next or fourth wing i might do reading vlogs for both just because i've heard so many obviously i've heard so many good things about fourth wing who hasn't um i've heard so many good things about the chestnut spring series as well and it's a cowboy romance yeah so fingers crossed i can get my shirt done tonight and then i probably i'm so tired so i'm probably just gonna go to bed after that but hopefully tomorrow i can um get some more things done and sorry for this intermission of me just being chatty clearly i've missed you guys i'm gonna stop waffling now and actually get to crocheting so enjoy the time lapses of course <laughs> guys change of plans <laughs> i'm not crocheting at all tonight and you know what that is fine i am way too tired to do any crochet apologies i do i just actually do you know what i don't want to do any i'm gonna say it sue me i don't want to crochet however i will fingers crossed finish my crochet shirt tomorrow and i should hopefully start on my other project so apologies this has been a fail day but sometimes you just cannot do the crochet anymore i think i did so much yesterday that my brain was just completely says no guess i'll see you in the morning good morning guys actually is it morning let me let me fact check just about it's 11 38 this is so erratic sorry for the mess like there's a hammer back here somewhere i probably won't be able to get to doing crocheting until later on just because i want to do some more gardening i'm gonna try and get my shirt done today and then probably pick up um my new thing that i was crocheting which you'll see later on if i get to that i'll catch up with you later just because i'm gonna go do some gardening now so speak to you later i'm finally done gardening so now i can actually get cracking on finishing my shirt i'm just gonna sit here and do this this shouldn't actually take me that long now because i've only got a few and um, a couple rows to do yeah enjoy happy till i tell a lie now my bed sheets smell like your cologne and in a separate world we sleep alone bye -bye. And we have a connected back i just need to um join the sleeves at the top obviously i left them open I need to do the join and stitch for these ones and then also I need to add a few more rows down the front. I think I'm going to do a few more white rows and then like two green for the bits of the front. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to do that for both sides. And then I obviously need to tie all the ends in. And then I'll be done. Actually, I need to add the collar as well. But apart from that. mistake so i have already connected the sleeves up but because i'm making the front bits longer i also will then need to connect the top bits if you know what i mean so i'm just going to undo this and start from the bottom <laughs> I've now attached everything that needs to be attached. I think I did an extra three rows of white on the front. So I went up, down, and then up. And then when I got to the top, I just done the um, invisible join and stitch with granny squares. So yeah, I think it's pretty okay. I'm gonna try this on now. And then all I need to do is the middle green bits and then the collar, and then I'm done. Yes. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of outslayed. It fits pretty much perfectly. No way I've just done that. I did it round the bottom instead of up the sides.
am I okay? Like the way I obviously had it folded, it clearly looked like the top side. I just done it completely around the bottom. I will come back to you later when I've done the sides and not the bottom. Okay, have I tied or sewed my ends in? No. Have I done the rest of it? Yes. So I tried it on everything. I like the fit of it. So that's all good. I was going to add a collar, but honestly, I don't want to do that right now. I think I'm going to do some more of my other projects now. Okay, so um, I had some leftover brown yarn from one of my commissions I did a few weeks ago. And so I was like, I kind of wanted... There's a famous picture on Pinterest, I say famous, I feel like a lot of people have already seen it, of the yellow, like, it's kind of like a vest with ties at the front, I'm pretty sure. I was like, I kind of want a little little brown one with holes. I'm just sort of freehand in this, but I was very confused of this. Because, like I say, I'm not a pattern wire, so I just could not figure out how to do things. I'm just gonna do this, so I'll, I'll let you guys enjoy a time lapse of me doing this. I think I'm just gonna watch some book... So, um, like I say, I am freehand in this. So, I fully was like, had, I was going to say twice the amount. It was not twice the amount. I had probably like maybe five more rows in this earlier, but I decided I'm like trying to taper it up. Um, and I decided that I had, um, I was like doing decreased stitches on both like the last stitches of a row and then the first stitches. And it was just, it was sort of doing this rather than like up like this so i went back and i've redone it and i think i prefer it like this you can't really see um but yeah i put out a um a poll on both my instagram and the like community tab that i didn't know was a thing on what series to or like what book um what book i should do a reading vlog for and i was either going to do fourth wing or the chestnut spring series and fourth wing won on both polls so and also it helps that i've actually got a physical of that yeah i'll probably speak to you tomorrow um i'm not sure what i was gonna do tomorrow i know i i was fully meant to do tapestry crochet and actually was meant to do this um but do you know what crochet is a bit unpredictable because if you're anything like me you start doing loads of rows and then you decide you hate it and have to frog everything you've ever done i'll speak to you tomorrow another day of crochet i guess Good night. Hello guys. It is Friday now, so this is last day of the crochet vlog, unfortunately. But I'm not gonna lie, it is actually 20 to 6 right now in the evening. Um just because I've been busy today. But I can confirm I have actually been doing crochet today. So I basically did this is literally double crochet, chain one, skip one stitch, and then go into the next. That's all this one is. So it's just like the square. And I done like honestly like a good first go for the first half but i decided that i don't know something was off i may end up finishing this at some point but i started again because who am i if i'm not going to start again on a project and i'm basically doing triple or treble crochets this time just to make it a bit more holy or a bit more airy i don't know um and also i wanted to do it a bit wider and i didn't want it to be to go in so far like I don't know I might may I might just leave this honestly and if I decide to come back to it I don't know so I have done that well I basically did both of these today I just started something else because I'm a stupid idiot I'm planning on getting this side done which to be honest this didn't take me long because it's treble crochet it builds up super quick and then also I kind of want to um challenge myself to get the other side done I know I'm not going to get the back done today which is fine but I also did I still haven't sewed the ends in for this but I did add a collar and I kind of hate it. I did a collar, but I just, it's not sitting right. And it just, I think it looked better without it. So I need, just need to sew the ends in for this. And then honestly take the collar off just because it was ugly. I'm not going to start anything new 
tonight just because I've now got two projects that I want to finish. I think I'm going to continue doing this one, honestly, because this one's just a bit more... I don't know, the stitches are more fun. I've done so many granny stitches or granny squares this past week that my brain is turning off. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. The vlog is not over yet. I don't know if this week has been a success or a failure, to be honest. I have successfully done some things, but also I definitely just overestimated myself, which is also okay, so who cares? Um, but I'll update you later on if I've, um, at any progress I've made. I'll catch up with you later on, I guess. I really hope you guys aren't surprised, but I'm gonna restart. <laughs> I basically managed, I did like a whole side, right? And I just, no. I've done like a whole side and like, yes, this is fine. But one, it's just, <sighs> first of all, I've done it too big, I'm pretty sure. Second, I've left like hardly anything for an armhole, so. It is 7.54 right now, so I don't know if this is me being very overambitious, but I'm going to attempt to finish this. Basically, I want to get through A Court of Frost and Starlight, because that is the audiobook I'm listening to at the minute. So the plan is I'm just going to sit here for like five hours. successfully done two front panels in about two hours which i don't think is too bad do i know if they're going to be the right size no this is what i'm at so <laughs> i don't know when i'll get around to doing the back bit um because i think i'm going to stop crocheting for the night because my eyes are burning yeah i think i'm gonna um stop crocheting for the night now because i'm literally about to fall asleep and i think i'll give my final updates um and stuff in the morning because i'm slurring so i guess i'll speak to you tomorrow at some point hello all it is actually saturday now so i'm just going to show you the conclusions of where we're at got two panels for the front bit and then obviously i need to do the back panel technically i didn't finish this um but i kind of did Obviously, I need to take the collar off. The collar is not given what I thought it was going to be given. And obviously, I need to tie in all the ends. But other than that, I pretty much did finish my crochet shirt. Would highly recommend doing this. So I'm. this is cute. I'm glad I made this. And then I also made... I made my cute little flowers. And also, what else did I make? Oh, my mat. Am I going to get it down? No. Yeah, I think that's actually all I made. So not actually... Actually, no. Because... I did actually start making my other, the other side of the, um, the original panel for my vest. So technically I did do that one, but that is, I think, all I made. But yeah, which I think is okay, considering I wasn't, I mean, I was crocheting quite hard in the beginning and I, my hands were hurting. I was crocheting very intensely, um, but I think that is pretty good to do for a week. For me anyway i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want more crochet vlogs in the future and stuff let me know because i like crocheting and yeah and i like just finding new patterns to use or just trying to make new things if you want me to film any crochet vlogs just let me know because i'll do it i'm a people pleaser i'll do it yeah if you like this video please let me know because I just love reading everyone's comments so um and also just again thank you for all the love for my first crochet video um i don't know when the next one will be just because i've got a few videos planned ish but yeah let me know if you want any more because like i say i'll give the people what they want um but yeah this is all i've got for this video so um thanks again for watching and 
go subscribe go like this video leave me a comment tell me what you're currently working on so thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye -bye.